This contest is set for one fall. Being accompanied to the ring by Paul Heyman from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing 218 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, C. N. Punk. King, C. N. Punk was a lot of hot air, but one thing he's factual about, he's held the WWE Championship 350 days. Well, that's true, but will it continue come Sunday at Survivor Series? From West Newberry, Massachusetts, waiting to 150 I feel lucky. Pounds. John C. John Cena it's hopes to set a to record of his work. own come Sunday night. If John Cena can win the triple threat match for the WWE title, he will have a record 11 reigns as WWE champion. Yeah, now there's a number can stick in his bra. That would be amazing. Here on Monday Night Raw, it's our main event. CM Punk, the WWE Champion, versus 10-time WWE Champion John Cena. And we're just six nights away from CM Punk, John Cena, and Ryback clashing in a triple threat match at Survivor Series. What a fist drop. And there's the reversal. That'll leave a mark. Collar and elbow tie-up. CM Punk going for it. You know, CM Punk has now tied Diesel with the ninth longest title reign in history at 358 days. And if he gets to Monday, he'll move into eighth place, passing Hulk Hogan's second reign. It's amazing when you think of all the greats that CM Punk has passed during this amazing WWE title reign. Yeah, you're right. Many of them are Hall of Famers. I mean, names like superstar Billy Graham, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, and Stone Cold Steve Austin certainly stand out. See that goal? Talk about getting your spine adjusted. Jeez. That suplex was picture perfect. Great offense by John Cena. Let's talk about the rules of the triple threat match this Sunday. There's no advantage at all for the champion. In fact, there's a disadvantage. CM Punk could lose the title and not even be involved. You know, it's every man for himself, and the X Factor in all this is the monster, the Beast Ryback. He's had only one blemish on his record, and that was because of the actions of road referee Brad Maddox. And Brad Maddox certainly paid for it. How impressive was it when Ryback just massacred Maddox earlier tonight?
Paul Heyman watching from ringside with the WWE Championship firmly in his grasp. And of course, Heyman is no stranger to representing WWE Champions. You know, that's right, King. In fact, Heyman became the first man to manage three WWE Champions in a row when he guided Brock Lesnar, Big Show, and Kurt Angle to the gold in 2002. And of course, Heyman saw many of his former ECW wrestlers go on to later become WWE Champions. Eddie Guerrero, Mick Foley, and Rob Van Dam come to mind. And following Van Dam's championship victory over John Cena in 2006, Heyman presented him with the ECW championship as well, making RVD the first person ever to simultaneously hold both the WWE and ECW titles. You know, I wonder if we would have gotten this great main event here tonight if A.J. Lee was still the general manager of Raw. Well, of course, A.J. stepped down as general manager a few weeks ago following an accusation she'd been fraternizing with an unnamed superstar on the roster. And as we all now know, that unnamed superstar turned out to be John Cena. And of course, this all started when it was revealed that John Cena and A.J. Lee shared what was being called the business dinner. <laughs> Since then, Vicky Guerrero has been held bent on revealing their relationship as anything but business. This has been some rivalry. Who will ever forget July 2011? Money in the Bank in Punk's hometown of Chicago. Punk beats John Cena for the WWE title and walked out of WWE, holding the company hostage. It was a night that changed WWE. And look at Cena. Cena's got Punk in the STF and the champ's in trouble. Oh, in trouble big time. This, this may be it. He may have to tap here, but wait, he's struggling, trying to get to the ropes. And Punk crawling the ropes oh. and makes it, and it's gonna force the break. CM Punk made it to the ropes. We thought Cena had him beaten. CM Punk on the outside. He's hurt. He may have had a, enough of John Cena. CM Punk crawling away from the ring. And... Look at this. I think, I think CM Punk wants to leave. Yeah, I don't think Punk wants anything to do with Cena, but, but look at this. Uh-oh. He's got nowhere to go. The roadblock, that's Ryback. And now, Punk trying to climb that wall, but Cena's got him back into the ring. Well, CM Punk tried his best to leave this match to get the heck out of here, but the roadblock, Ryback, stood in his way. John Cena's got CM Punk back in the ring now, and the match continues. Oh, now that it's over, how do you think A.J. Lee's tenure as Raw General Manager compares to some of the past names that have held that position? Well, she certainly did a better job than Mike Adamley. <laughs> yes. But I don't know if I could put her ahead of the anonymous Raw General Manager. Ugh. You know, can I have your attention, please? That was he awful. He really knew how to deliver a message. I hated that. And there's the reversal from CM Punk. Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens when Ryback is thrown into this mix on Sunday. He seems unstoppable right now, but we also know John Cena. We've seen him for years. He can beat anybody on any given day. And then you have to look at CM Punk. He's the champion, and there's no denying his abilities. Well, you know, CM Punk survived 358 days as the WWE Champion. John Cena is a 10-time WWE Champion, and of course, Ryback, he's the hottest thing going right now. Who's going to win this thing? I mean, it's impossible to pick a win. Attitude adjustment. Attitude adjustment. Cena's going to win. John Cena's pinned the champion. Oh, my God. Cena's pinned the champion. And if that happens Sunday, we're going to crown a new champ. John Cena has done what CM Punk tried to tell the world was impossible. Yeah, but let's not forget that man. Yeah, Ryback is thinking if anyone's going to be, beat CM Punk, it's going to be him. But no, look at this. Triple threat rules come Sunday. Punk's title reigns in deep trouble. 